Hey class, um, we're going to do sexual orientation today and I think this is one of the most controversial lectures because so many people have different thoughts about sexual orientation and so what I did was I kind of created like a little hodgepodge of different videos from different sources to show you different aspects of gender and sexual orientation. So I start this module with what it means to be queer so that you can understand that term. I think that's super important. Then I went to this one. Um, sorry, I didn't completely uh, get rid of all of these PowerPoint things here. I just kind of did it. I've been working on your video compilation. So um, I kind of compiled different videos where I tried to have people talking and then I tried to have different science on the different gender and sexual orientation because it's a big continuum, it's a big hodgepodge. And you know what? Before it was even cool to say this, I was saying it a long time ago, is I would start my classes with hey, we're going to do sexual orientation. And as you know, we've progressed so much. And just, I would say even the past five years, I would say there's been like this explosion. Um, so I started back in the 90s and it wasn't as like um, embracing in the 90s. But even back early on, when I would start to teach the class, I was like, hey, if you guys are coming here from answers, I don't, I don't have any answers. And I would even say stuff like this. I don't know what it means to be gay. And then I do like a whole, um, you know, scenario. It's in one of my lectures. So one of the longest lectures in this module is actually my lecture on sexual orientation and it has different scenarios. Um, it's actually me talking. So most of this module is not me talking. I just took compilations from different sources. And the reason is, is because I'm, I feel like you should see it from different aspects. I don't have answers. And why, why would I say something like, I don't know what it means to be gay is go look at the module that it's the longest one. I think it's like 32 minutes and look at the different scenarios that I present to you. Um, you know, because what somebody does and what they feel attracted to, it's it could be very different. Um, another thing is is that uh, we know that uh, there's fluidity, so we can change. A lot of people are um, only in homosexual relationships for a very small part of their life, uh, and then there's people that are heteros that claim that they're heterosexual, but the only way that they can have an orgasm is by fantasizing about gay sex. So I don't even know what it kind of means to be gay. It's too broad, it's too gray of an area. I don't have strong answers for you. But I do think as a teacher, I should show you the science because I, I do lean towards neuroscience probably more than many of your teachers. And But then I should show you all the different areas that maybe can't be explained by science. So I tried to do that in this module. Um, Another one that I touched on that um, I took it from a Netflix documentary called Asexual. So I cut it up into little clips about questions that people have on asexuality. Um, if you wanted to watch the whole thing, it is on um, Netflix. Then I talked about intersexuality. So intersexuality is definitely a biological phenomenon. I don't know about asexuality. I mean, in my mind, everything comes down to at least 50% biological. Um, then I talk about homosexuality. Uh, and then we talk about trans being transgender. So that's what I did in the sexual orientation module. Um, Again, if you're looking for a lot of answers, I don't have answers. What I have is I have a different compilation of interesting information. Okay.